on three reporter Nia Wong joins us live from Lompoc with what happened. Nia. Well, Victoria, I'm in the 800 block of North L Street here in Lompoc where police were called out to a home twice here on Friday. And the first time was because of that fight that broke out between the brothers that happened around 9 a.m. on a Friday. And by the time police officers arrived, one of the brothers was injured by another brother. But one of the parents on scene did not want charges pressed against that offending brother. Officers were then called out a second time to that home later that evening and ended up taking the offending brother to a Lompoc hospital. But here's where it gets weird. Just after 11 p.m. that same night, emergency staff at the Lompoc hospital say the brother they were treating broke through a sliding gas glass door and escaped. Police say he then went back home to attack his brother a second time using a dumbbell. And after the second attack, an officer spotted him near his home holding what appeared to be a knife and repeatedly asked this brother to drop it. The juvenile refused and came towards the officer with a weapon, which then led the officer to shoot the teen once. You're going to start attacking or at least have a weapon with you and you're willing to use it and not drop it in front of a police officer. They should be able to um, use the force that they think is necessary. We've been told the injured juvenile is a 17-year-old male who was shot above the abdomen. Right now, he is at a hospital and is expected to recover. Now, authorities are not releasing the name of the officer involved with the shooting. They want to give him some time to notify his family and friends and to kind of decompress from the events of the last 36 hours. But the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department is still investigating this case. Reporting live in Lompoc, I'm Nia Wong.